Hi, Dr. Mike here. Um, I talked a little bit about Ehlers-Danlos Syndrome and some of the complications. One of the major issues for me has been in my 40 years experience of seeing infants, children, and adults with metabolic bone disease and Ehlers-Danlos Syndrome is that it is important to make a diagnosis as early as possible for an infant or child. It's been argued that you can't make a diagnosis in an infant, in fact, not in a young child until they're five years of age. I have been seeing parents with EDS and advising them when they were having children as to the consequences of being able to intervene as soon as possible. So here are some of the symptoms that I typically see in infants with this genetic syndrome that when I follow them out into their teenage years, unequivocally determine that they have it. One of the first is that when these infants are being picked up, their joints click. Another is that they're constantly spitting up. And the reason for that is that they have what's called gastroparesis, where the stomach is blowing up like a balloon and then they have to collapse it and they wind up spitting up. And so I usually recommend smaller size feedings multiple times a day to get the same number of calories. Another issue is that they can bruise easily. So it's important as they begin to crawl and walk is to protect their head so that they don't wind up having bleeding in the head, which can have very serious consequences. Also, they can have what's called mottled skin, where all of a sudden you see areas of blue, white, and red. It almost looks like bruises, but they come and go. And it turns out that that is associated with what we call dysautonomia. They also flush easily and sweat profusely. It's caused by mast cell hypersensitivity. And so many of these different symptoms really need to be recognized as early as possible in life and then when necessary to appropriate intervene. So thank you again for being on this journey with me and I'll be providing you with more information about this genetic syndrome and its other health consequences.